I first went to India, I think I had a very different idea of the kinds of stories that I would be reporting on. This is unfortunately more common than us journalists like to admit that we already have an idea of what the story is before we go to a place. So I had read that India had changed. I, you know, it opened up its economy in 1991, as many of you here know, and there have been very radical economic changes, and I'd assumed that they had translated into the social and cultural realms. Um, you know, I had read that women were microwaving curries at night because they didn't, you know, they were working all day and they didn't want to have to, you know, cook three hot meals for their entire extended families all day because, you know, they were otherwise engaged. And I'd read that um, the caste system was being slowly dismantled, especially in cities, and, you know, that kids would now put in their arranged marriage ads in the classified papers on Sundays, like, cast no bar. And I, so I expected to find a place that had already transformed, and in fact, India still remains very much in transition. And all of those things are happening, and they're happening in pockets, though. They're not happening consistently. And so that's one of the many ways that India is confounding um, to people from outside. And one of the reasons I stayed, actually, for as long as I did, was because I was just trying to work out, make some sense of it. And one of the ways that I chose to try to make sense of it was to look at um, the lives of women, and especially at marriage. Because marriage, you know, is an institution that I saw that embodied the most traditional expectations and was also a place where you saw a lot of change. So you saw both continuity and change happening inside this institution. 